What's up, homies? I'm Chris Pearson. I'm the creator of Thesis, <clears throat> and I'm coming to you today with an important message about the next round of updates. And specifically, <clears throat> you should see within the next 24 hours in your WordPress admin an update notification for Thesis 2.9.10. And what makes this update different than every other update is that this is the first one that ha has the... Uh, the license key system for Thesis fully enabled. And so I'm gonna show you what you need to do right after updating to make sure that your site is always gonna be receiving uh, updates on skins and boxes and also for Thesis, uh, you know, moving forward, okay? So what we're looking at right now is the uh, My Account page on DIYThemes.com. So if you log into your account, you will see the Thesis license that you have and any other licenses you have with us, such as Focus, and uh, Right here in this yellow bar is your license key. So we'll flip over to a thesis site here. And so after you visit, uh, you know, after you update, pardon, to thesis 2.9.10, which you'll see the nag, go ahead and update to that. And then it's the, after you update to 2.9.10, the first thing you're going to want to do is enter your license key so that you'll get these, the new, you know, updates in the future. Okay, so first things first, I have moved the location of the, the license key link. Um, there's one over here in the WordPress quick launch nav menu now, over here on the left. And then up top, it's now the first item in the site menu in the thesis admin. So you can click on that. That will bring you to the light thesis license key page. You just copy your, the number, the license key number from here paste it into this field, and then if the number, you know, if you've input the proper license key, you're gonna get a little bit of feedback here showing whether or not, you know, what the status of your license is. Notably, you're also going to see the number of domains uh, on which this key is activated, and then the total number where this key is valid. So, in this case, I've activated this key two times, but I can use it on up to five sites. So we can check that out here in the uh, in the account admin area as well. So you'll see here too a, a new addition to the uh, the my account page. It shows you the same number. This this key has been activated on two of five sites. This focus key has been activated on four of five sites. Uh, if you want to examine which sites those are or change them, you can click on the manage domains link, and that will take you to the manage license key domains page. And here you can see the domains. You got two out of five. I can see the two domains on which it's active. If uh, let's say one of these is a client site, something like that, and they're no longer using, they're no longer using Thesis or no longer using my services. I want to cut them off. I can simply deactivate site, and then that site will no longer be receiving automatic updates. Uh, it, effectively, the license key will not be installed there. So uh, this is just. The, the management system now is fully complete. Uh, you can enter the license key in the thesis admin. You get the feedback here. You go to your My Account page. You can corroborate the feedback that you get. You can see how it all fits together. And you are going to need to input your thesis license key in order to receive automatic updates on any thesis components in the future. So like I said, after you update to thesis 2.9.10, the first thing you're going to want to do is enter the license key, save it, make sure it's active, and that it, you know you enter the right key. And then if you enter the right key, you'll actually see an update nag right away for Thesis 2.9.11, and that's actually what you want to update to. You had to update to 10 to get the license key stuff, and then that enables you to move to 11, which has lots of cool new features in it. Uh, so I know you're going to want to grab that right away. So anyway, that uh, that's what you need to know. And... Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to pop into the forums or else shoot me a support request and I'll get you fixed up right away. All right. Thanks for listening. See you later.